Demonstration for Alderaan Go 2 Duplex Control Panel, demonstrating float controlled pumping cycles. This video will be for demonstration of the Alderaan Go 2 Duplex Control Panel, demonstrating float controlled pumping cycles. Let's get started. Attached to the Go 2 Control Panel is a float simulator box that uses toggle switches to simulate float switch activation. We will use the toggle switches and activate them in a proper sequence to simulate water rising and lowering inside the tank. Four toggle switches are used for float simulation. Off, lead, leg, and high. Let's get started by simulating two pumping cycles where the lead pump will alternate after each pumping cycle. A pumping cycle is defined as when the pump turns on and when the pump turns off. As the water rises, the off float will activate. The water level continues to rise and the lead float will activate and pump two will turn on. Note the beacon will begin blinking, indicating the pump is running. As the pump is lowering the water level, the lead float will tilt down, but the pump will remain on all the way down to the off float. This completes the first pump cycle. On the second pump cycle, as the water rises, the off float will activate. The water level continues to rise and the lead float will activate and pump one will turn on. As the pump is lowering the water level, the lead float will tilt down, but the pump will remain on all the way down to the off float. This completes the second pump cycle. The pump alternates after each pump cycle. Next, let's simulate a leg pumping cycle. As the water rises, the off float will activate. The water level continues to rise and the lead float will activate and pump one will turn on. The water level continues to rise and the leg float will activate and pump two will turn on. As the pumps are lowering the water level, the leg float will tilt down. Next, the lead float, but the pumps will remain on all the way down to the off float. This completes the leg pump cycle. Next, let's simulate alarm pumping cycle. As the water rises, the off float will activate. The water level continues to rise and the lead float will activate and pump one will turn on. If the level continues to rise, the leg will activate and pump two will turn on. If the water level continues to rise and activate the alarm float, the alarm beacon will blink red and the buzzer will also activate. Notice I activated the test silent switch to silence the buzzer. Note the beacon will also blink green indicating that both pumps should be pumping. The water level will lower and the alarm float will tilt down. As the pumps continue lowering the water level, the leg float will tilt down. Next, the lead float will tilt down. Notice the pump and alarm beacon will remain on all the way to the off float, at which time the pumps and alarm beacon will turn off. This completes the alarm pumping cycle. Note the alarm is automatically reset and the beacon glows steady green, indicating normal operation. This completes our demonstration for Go2 Duplex Control Panel, demonstrating float controlled pumping cycle. Thanks for watching.